Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching this short video on one of the very interesting use case on how CyberArk, EPM and PAM can integrate together. So this is the brief agenda I have put together. Again, we will be spending majority of the time to look into the demonstration. First, let's understand the use case. So this is a very simple use case. Here in this use case, one of the prospects, what they wanted to do, they wanted to block the PowerShell for certain domain privilege accounts, whereas they wanted to allow the rest of the users or the other domain local accounts to be able to allow or to be able to run PowerShell. So for this particular use case, so what we did, we leverage upon a CyberArk EPM as the PAM solution has already been placed in the customer environment to manage their privilege accounts. So let's look into the demonstration. For this demonstration, there are two main prerequisites. The first thing you will see in my demonstration that I have onboarded two different category of a privilege account. One privilege account called X underscore admin. For X underscore admin, we want to block the PowerShell use. Whereas if any, any authorized person is leveraging upon a U underscore admin, privilege account to access the target server, the PowerShell access to be allowed. And as I mentioned earlier, to achieve this entire use case, we have to install the EPM on your target server. And then we have to configure a very simple policy on how to allow or how to block the PowerShell use for a specific set of a domain accounts. So let's me jump onto my, uh, onto my demonstration. So here we will be jumping onto two main screen. The first one is my PBWA and the second one is my endpoint privilege manager. In the endpoint privilege manager, if I go to the EPM tab, you are able to see one of the, one of the machine has been registered named TGT, TGT server 01. And if I go to the policies and there are no policies and nothing has been configured at the moment, this particular policy is also in the deactivate stage. So we have to activate this particular policy. We'll see later on how this policy looks like. So what we will do, we will go to the, uh, we will go to the EPM console. So if I go to the PBW console first in the PBW console, we will be leveraging upon X underscore admin and U underscore admin account. First, I click on the X underscore admin account. No policies has been configured at the moment. So let's access one of the target server. So you are able to see we are accessing this particular server via the PSM. And you are able to see we are accessing while leveraging upon this X underscore admin uh, privilege account. So here, just to be sure, let me request all the policies, EPM policies. So what I'll do, I'll search using PowerShell. So let me run PowerShell. So you are able to see, I'm able to run PowerShell without any issues at all. So now what we will do, we will leverage upon another privilege account called u underscore admin. So here also I will click on a connect button and let's configure this TGT server. And again, you will be able to see, I'm able to access, uh, the, access this particular machine using this u underscore admin privilege account. So let me go to the search tab. So here also we'll go to the PowerShell and let's try accessing this PowerShell. So you are able to see I'm able to run PowerShell without any issues at all. So what we will do, so now uh, we will go to the CyberArk Endpoint Privilege Manager. This Endpoint Privilege CyberArk EPM agent, as I mentioned earlier, has already been installed in the TGT Server 01. Now we just have to configure a policy. So I have pre-configured this policy. Let me show you how this policy looks like. 
So I'll click on edit. So once I click on edit, so I'm naming this policy as a block PowerShell policy. So it's a block application and applying this policy across all the computers. And then on the OS user, I'm specifying, hey, for this specific cyber slash X underscore admin user, we want to block the PowerShell use. So here I'm, uh, I'm putting the application as my PowerShell.exe. If I click on edit, next, next. So if I, I'm keeping the file name as a PowerShell.exe and everything else I'm keeping it as default. So once I go next, so here you can see the end user UI. So there are no other settings and then that's pretty much about it. So this is my policy. So what we will do, we will activate this policy. And once we are able to activate this policy, what we can do, we can push the policies on the end computer. So once we are able to do it, it looks like all the policies has been configured properly. So now we will go back to our, our PBWA dashboard again. Uh, so we will try to leverage upon this X underscore admin account again. I'll click on the connect button. TGT server zero one. So once I do that, so again, we are going by the PSN. So just to be sure, let me fetch all my settings of the policies again. So once I do that, so you're able to see, I'm able to fetch the policy. So let me try running the PowerShell again. If you are able to see the application has been blocked. So let me try to run the PowerShell. So again, in all the cases, so my request or my action has been blocked. So what I'll do just to show you how the policy is going to look like, we'll go to the windows and then from there, let me look into the PowerShell file path from windows, sys wav 64 sys Sixty-four, and then we have to go to the Windows PowerShell. If I go to the v1.0, if I go to the PowerShell, so once I click on the properties, if I go to the EPM, so you are able to see for this particular uh, EXE, uh, this particular policy has been applied, the block PowerShell policy, what we configured on the Cybrac uh, EPM side. So this is how the experience is going to look like from the user standpoint. User will not be able to run uh, PowerShell leveraging upon X underscore admin privilege account. So I'll, I'll, I'll close it and then let's try leveraging upon a U underscore admin account. So TGT server zero one. So once I do that, so now we are accessing this. So let's try to run PowerShell. So you are able to see, hey, I'm able to run PowerShell in a normal mode. And I should be able to run PowerShell in an administrative mode as well. So I'm able to run PowerShell in an administrative mode as well. So that's pretty much in terms of the demonstration. Thanks a lot everyone for watching, watching this short video.